Hi friends, welcome back to my channel SciTech. In today's video, I'll try to do the speed test and the RAM management test comparison between the OnePlus Nord 2 versus Poco F3 GT device. So this is a heavy games comparison, friends. This is my first time doing this kind of five heavy games comparison between these both phones. Let's see which phone will be able to open these games faster and which phone can actually store this many games in the background memory. So this is going to be a really interesting test. As I said, this is my first time doing this kind of test in the OnePlus Nord 2. Let's see how will this phone will be able to manage the RAM management and which phone can actually open the games faster. That is what I'm going to exactly check. And during this time, all the games not added into the game turbo or anything. No, I did not add them. And there is no high performance mode in this mode. I did not use high performance mode in, in the OnePlus Nord 2. So right now the demonstration. So if you want uh, me to use the high performance mode, I'll try to do a separate video because few of the users, they did ask without using high performance mode, they want to know the potential of this phone. That's exactly true, yes. So without using high performance mode, let's see what is the potential of this OnePlus Nord 2. Whether this phone can actually handle this many heavy games in the background or not, that's what I'm going to exactly show you in this video. So don't worry, in case if you are interested in the high performance mode, I can definitely do the video. But most of the people, they did ask not to use the high performance mode. So let's go to the Wi-Fi connection first. Let's see whether both phones are connected to the same kind of Wi-Fi connection or not. Yes. So both are connected to the same Wi-Fi connection. So now let's see friends, uh, which phone will be able to open these games faster. So everything from completely I did clear in the background as you can see. And there's nothing in the background as well. And I did connect to the same kind of Wi-Fi connection as well. So let's start with the first game, which is a Battlegrounds mobile gameplay. Let's see this game, which phone can actually open faster. So it's a OnePlus Nord 2 versus Poco F3 GT. Both are 8 GB RAM variants. Yes, 8 GB RAM variants I'm trying to use during this time of demonstration. And you can see the one Poco F3 GT did open faster the game. As you can see the difference clearly, how much difference is there between these two phones in terms of the opening speeds. So Poco F3 GT did open, yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six i think five to six seconds of difference is there so right now the phone is loading as you can see both phones are connected to the same kind of wi-fi only during this process of demonstration let me go back yes yeah and let's go to the home screen and let's open next game which is the asphalt 9 let's see asphalt 9 how much difference can it be there between both phones in terms of the opening speeds i think uh, right now let's see whether the poco f3 gt will open the game faster or the oneplus not two so this is going to be very interesting because this is my first time doing this kind of heavy games speed test and RAM management test comparison between both phones. This is a heavy game competition as you can see. So don't worry, I'll try to use the high performance mode in this phone in another video. So this is video which lot of users, majority of the people that did ask don't use the high performance mode. So right now let's start with the Call of Duty game. Let's see that in the Call of Duty which phone can actually open them faster. I think the Poco F3 uh, GT maybe, let's see, Poco F3 GT, I think so. I'm looking for the login, yeah. Login page first opened in the Poco F3 GT. As you can see friends, login page, that's the thing. And this is the message which I got regarding the iPerformance mode. So do not turn on the iPerformance mode during this kind of demonstration. As you can see, this will definitely limit the resources of certain games. So this is the comments which I'm getting from not only one subscriber, plenty of subscribers that did ask me not to use. That is the main reason why I'm not using. So try to understand my, um, test and maybe next time I'll try to use high performance mode so don't worry about that absolutely I'll try to use the next time so definitely but this time only for this time I'm not using so because of the comments only or whatever comment I'm getting whatever the feedback I'm getting based on those only I'll be able to make the videos so right now the first phone to turn on is the Poco F3 GT the free fire game and the final game which is a Jensen impact let's see this heavy game and one yes so which phone can actually turn on first and we need to see whether all the before games will be in the background RAM management or not because that is going to be really very 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 interesting test. So that will definitely show us what is the performance levels of the RAM management. So till now in the speed test we got to know the POCO F3 GT was able to perform faster than the OnePlus Nord 2 device in terms of the speed test. Opening the games as you can see opening the games so POCO F3 GT was able to open faster than the OnePlus Nord 2. And this is the final test, which is a Jensen Impact game. So once the game loads, then we can actually see what is happening. And the Poco F3 GT was able to open faster, not bad. So both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network only friends. The same Wi-Fi are connected. And these are the results we are getting right now. Different, different results in both phones. So still loading in the OnePlus Nord 2, even in the 
Poco F3 GT also still loading. It is taking some time. So maybe because of the slow internet connection, I'm not sure. But this situation, let's see what will happen next. So Poco F3 GT did start the game, and the OnePlus Nord is continuing. So OnePlus Nord 2 also, yes, done. Even this phone also started the game. So let's see how much more time again it will take to open this kind of thing and right now i'll try to show you the wi-fi connection whether i'm if you get the doubt i'm not trying to connect to the same wi-fi as you can see same wi-fi connection i connected friends same wi-fi as you can see exactly so oneplus not 2 is still taking some time so poco f3 gt slightly open faster let's see how much more time it needs so yes oneplus not 2 did open the game so finally five games are completely open in both phones absolutely as you can see friends this is going to be really very very interesting and challenging to see which phone can actually store how many games in the background memory that's what we will be keeping on checking let's see let's start with the last game so absolutely anyway the last game will be anyway open let's see the second game fifa game not bad so till three to four games i would say kind of okay but fifth game is a kind of really doubt let's see what happens now call of duty not bad both phones did show exactly as it is not bad at all and fourth game is asphalt 9 so asphalt 9 let's see friends asphalt 9 1 2 3 both are same as you can see both phones are same at this stage asphalt 9 they did not have the memory so let's see if in the final game which is a battlegrounds mobile gameplay but first opened in the poco f3 gt as you can see clearly and now let's start with the last game which is a battlegrounds mobile game you can see the background memory is stay it's still existing let me try to tap on that as you can see, the Poco F3 GT was able to show directly the game. It did not reload. As you can see, it's clear. It did not reload in the Poco F3 GT. Not at all. So the Poco F3 GT was able to maintain this application in the background. Not bad. As you can see, exactly it, it as it is. You did see with your eyes. Okay, that is the reason I'm trying to show you from multitasking only. So you should know what is happening between both phones. So these are the five heavy games. So in terms of the speed test, the Poco F3 GT is a winner. In terms of the RAM management, the Poco F3 GT is slightly a little bit in terms of keeping more games in the background memory. At this moment, I'm not sure with the future updates. So uh, at this moment, this is the situation. Let's start with again from the last game, which is a Genshin Impact. Not bad. Both phones did keep the Genshin Impact in the background memory. Yes, these two games are also there. No problem. Yep, Call of Duty also there. No issues. And the Asphalt 9, let's see. Asphalt 9 also is there. As you can see at this moment, both are there. As you can see, this is the random test. Random test I'm trying to do. Random test, both phones did perform really good. So that's it friends. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to check the links in description. And in case if you want me to do any other speed test and RAM management test comparison between these phones, let me know in the comment section below. So definitely I'll be able to do those videos as soon as possible for you all. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video friends. Until then, bye.